Uh, Madam Speaker, th there's an ongoing debate in the country about Confederate symbols, uh, in, such as the statues that have been in Congress for, for decades. Uh, it says something to, a, to the durability of those symbols in the Capitol that they're still here, despite you being Speaker twice. And yesterday you announced you're going to try to have them moved. Over in the Senate side, uh, the Armed Services Committee says, or has, has issued, or their bill would reinforce the renaming of Confederate, or bases named after Confederate generals. Can you talk about this phenomenon and whether or not your defense authorization bill will contain comparable language, and will you force it through a veto threat? If oh, necessary? the Senate piece you're talking about is their bill that takes them out in three years. Okay. Let me just say that when I was Speaker, I did uh, do what I had the authority to do, which was to relegate Robert E. Lee to the crypt. Uh, and, and I could move things around. I couldn't actually take them out. That requires something else. And that's why I wrote the letter uh, uh, yesterday, or a couple of days ago, June 10th, yesterday, uh, about uh, Stevens. Uh, just, can you imagine Jefferson Davis, Alexander Stevens, treason. They committed treason against the United States of America, and their statues are still here because their states put them here. So that's why we're... Uh, I wrote to Chairman Blunt, chair of the Rules Committee, and uh, the chair of our House Administration Committee, which is the equivalent committee, Zoe Lofgren. And I particularly talked about Alexander Stevens because uh, in the, these are his words. The infamous words of Stevens makes us it clear today, as they did in 1861, the aims of the Confederacy. It's, it has come in his cornerstone speech. And he says, Stevens asserted that the prevailing ideas relied upon by our founders including included the assumption of the equality of man. He goes on to say, this is wrong. And then he goes on from there. You can see my letter and see what he says and see why he has to come out of the Capitol. Now, we do have... If I do believe that the committees have the jurisdiction to move these statues, but we also had legislation, Barbara Lee and Benny Thompson, the chair of Homeland Security Committee, and Barbara Lee, a uh, uh, senior member of the Provisions Committee, member of our House Democratic leadership, they have legislation that would um, get rid of, well, we have 11 of them that we have our eye on. Uh, the, but it, it may take legislation or action by the rule committee. It, it, believe me, if I had more authority, we would have fewer of those statutes around. The um, question you asked about the Armed Services Committee relates to the names of the military bases, correct? You're not talking about statues in the House, yeah. So we'll see. Uh, that may require legislation. But I want to tell you something. The American people know these names have to go. These names are white supremacists that uh, said terrible things about our country. This is like over 100 years after World War II. Some of these names were given to these bases. And they, they, you listen to who they are and what they said, and then you have the president make a case as to why a base should be named for them. He seems to be the only person left who doesn't get it. But then again, so whether it w I don't know if it will be in the bill. We may have freestanding, may combine with statues in the Capitol. I don't know, uh, because that will be up to the makers of the motion to suggest how they would like to proceed. But these names have to go from these bases, and these statues have to go from the Capitol.